a locally assembled smart device is a brilliant milestone in and of itself, but its broader implications for both public and private sector efficiency, integrity, and security that will bring out its significance in full is what we are waiting to experience. I congratulate the investors, and as I said, two fundamental things, maybe more, are going to be achieved by this device. When I see 300 Kenyans employed in this facility that will produce 3 million devices, and those 3 million devices will be 30% cheaper than if we had imported them complete as units. So we have the benefit of jobs for our young people, and we have the benefit of a much more affordable product. I know when I mentioned uh, in one meeting, I attended a meeting of uh, Kenya Chamber of Commerce, and I told them that we were working on a program where we will end up with a $40, $50 device. Many people there were skeptical, like it is always, you know, because uh, th that is how we are. But I want to persuade you that the power of vision and the power of faith cannot be replaced by anything else, you know? Tulikubaliana na hawa jamaa ya kwamba mambo ya simu ambayo mwananchi wa kawaida anaweza eh, kununua kwa gharama ambayo inatoshana na mwananchi na simu ambayo inaweza kutumika kama smartphone wananchi wengi vile mmesikia hapa asilimia karibu sabini wananunua simu ya mulikamwizi kwa sababu ya gharama ya simu lakini hiyo mulikamwizi haiwezi kufanya mambo mengi ambayo mwananchi wa kawaida angetaka afanye. Haiwezi kuwa na data, haiwezi kuwa na nini ni inasumbua. Sasa inakuwa tu ni simu ya kupiga simu kwa voice ama makelele. <laughs> so, sasa tunataka kuhamisha tupeleke katika hatua ya pili. Na kupitia kwa uh, kiwanda hii ambayo imetengenezwa hapa. Ya kwanza, tumepata ajira ya vijana wa taifa letu la Kenya. Ajira ambayo ilikuwa mahali pengine ambazo hizi simu sinatengenezwa. Jambo la pili, tumepata simu kwa bei ambayo ni asilimia thelathini chini ya ile equivalent simu ambayo tungenunua. Ya tatu, sasa tunaweza kukustomize hii simu. Nimesema hii simu ambayo sasa tumelaunch leo ni smartphone. Bei yake vile niliwaeleza wa Kenya ni dola hamsini. Nilikuwa nimebagei na hawa jamaa dola arbaini. Wameniambia lazima iwe dola hamsini kwa sababu wameweka data pia huko ndani. Kwa sababu wananiambia hii simu, smartphone, haita kuwa ya faida kama huko na simu ambaye kazi yake tu ni wewe kupiga makelele ya voice. Wakaniambia lazima tuweke 10 dollars ya data. Ndio isaidie so that we can unlock the full potential of a smartphone. It's good to have the phone, but it's also better if you have it with the data that is going to support the usability of this phone because it's not just a phone like Mulikamwizi where you make uh, voice calls. I made a commitment about the device, these phones. It looked like a promise. Today it's reality. And it is because of the power of vision and the power of faith. So, you know, it's very difficult for people to see as far as what the vision entails. Many people look at today at best tomorrow. Yeah. And, and that is how we, we have so many Thomases in between. Who, uh, you remember the story of Jesus and the people who are told him, oh, Jesus, you know, has risen from the death. And 
from the dead and Thomas was saying ah no you have scan let me huyo mtu ati mnasema ati ule tu alikuwa amechomwa na na mkuki ati ameamka hebu niguze mahali alikuwa amechomwa you know that so that's where we are but i want to promise you the same way jesus rose we are going to take this country to the next level and um, that is the power of having a vision and driving our country knowing very well that even in the context of where we are we must never be distracted by the challenges that we have we must see them as an encouragement to where we want to get as a nation because we must get there kenya is a great nation kenya is a great country a country of tremendous potential and this time round we must get it right and we must take kenya wherever it wherever we want it and we are going to make the decisions however difficult that will take kenya where we all want because when i listen to kenyans they know where this country should be the only problem we have is sometimes we don't have the courage to make the decisions that will take us there good people we must change this country i don't think we have another option yeah and the young people who are pushing us we have millions of kenyans talented hard working educated they are looking for opportunity we cannot postpone their future we must make the decisions now to enable them get the opportunities tomorrow and i promise you one thing i will make all the decisions necessary to make kenya the great country we all want it to be